We just got the candle close on the daily, weekly, and monthly. And it's bullish. It's super bullish. This is Bitcoin chart on a daily, highlighting the fact that the trend line, which you were pushing down, is now breaking back to the upside. That's a strong region. Keep ether in your mind. The inverted hammer did not lie. The idea which we shared for the last couple of days about this possibility is now slowly playing out. If you do look at what Bitcoin was showing you, it showed you correct path. In the last 48 hours, whatever the SI family was educated on is now relevant. You look at the weekly chart, then and look at the argument and now look at what the Bitcoin on a weekly shows you. This trend line is acting as a support. When the price was still high and was bouncing, you had the thought process shared clearly that we need to come visit this range. Now we have done that. But the weekly candle is now showing you a bullish hammer. And that bullish hammer is happening just above a support. If you don't understand that, zoom a little bit in. Three day gives you the highlight. The A, the B, the C is kind of getting completed. This is going to be something which you should be looking on a Bitcoin three day chart, which would be a run up to 65 range, a retest to 62, then a bounce off to the new highs, 75, 76, 80, wherever we go, we'll follow it up. But what about the altcoins? While dollar is taking a breather here, market is allowed to perform, fine. But what about the altcoins? Yes, you see enormous amount of liquidity entering into the markets. But to be fair, what about Ether? What about XRP? What about the entire altcoin market? Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. Whatever we broke down before that critical time, the daily close, the weekly and the monthly close, right now stands true. So if you want to join the Scientific Investor family with 1,200 plus members, use the link in the description below because the month of July has been enormously bullish. If you look at the past, the history, you will understand. Each July, going back for last three, four, five, six, seven years will give you the same idea. And the question is, does the market show you I'm starting something? I would argue that it is showing you that it is bouncing off. And as it bounces off, you should not forget the fact that now you have the price making a higher low local swing low while the rsi is going down you already have a hidden bullish divergence and a falling wedge pattern bullish isn't that great now why is that so important when the weekly candle has already given you negative divergence and then the price dropped like this to a support after which you're bouncing off like this from 58,700 to 62,800. That's where we are now. That's $4,000 move in Bitcoin from that local low. And the three day chart now shows you it is about to go higher. So now what would we like to see? The altcoin market. XRP as an asset. Where are we and what we will be looking for? 
the price action candle didn't lie. It showed us an inverted hammer and it is bringing somewhat similar results. Yes, you need to wait for the candle close. That's a three-day chart. This candle opened on 29th. So you have the 30, you have the first, you have the second. That's where you're going to get the candle close. So in next two days, next 48 hours, you are going to get this idea. Last time it remained just below the moving average. Here you're already at the moving average. So if you do bring in something like this, you already break the moving average. I wouldn't be surprised. Why? You've completed the wave one. If you're going for wave two, your momentum is going to be much higher. The wave one, if you measure that, just to get an idea of where we are going, you can put a five times of that into wave two, which would be 200% more. Now that's still wave two, and this is ether. So when ether as a large cap asset is slowly pushing higher, and if it reaches this level, which is like $8,000, $9,000, $10,000 range in wave two, yeah, for sure you will see another 50% drawdown. The price goes up, it come back down, but then you have another wave three. Now, if it's like last time, the wave three is not gonna be big. It would be just an exit point, but a trap for the retail. When it reaches all time highs, retail would jump in, whales would jump out. But you will be able to see that in the trends. A ton of people are entering, that's the exit. You use bad exit liquidity. But right now, the thought process is not that. The question mark in front of you is how long was that run up once it started? And that's here. You're looking for the first big rally. 195 days. That was six months in Ether. But if you do look at the total ROI, during that entire space, that 13x, 14x run up, majority of that came in here. That was like 5, 60%. After that, what you got was 120. Yes, it's compounding into 13x, but the first major rally, which came in as surprise, was 130 days. That's four months. So now, that means majority of your return is going to be happening in a stack up number of days. You don't want to miss that. Now take that idea for the altcoin market and the XRP side of things. You have a reversal candle formation. XRP is starting to show you a three-day setup above the trend line and the horizontal support zone showing this support is going to be something strong. RSI does argue it's trying to break higher. And such a breakout has usually given us something better. Now, in XRP terms, even if the price is coming back up about 0.7, that's a big relief because now you're looking at a dollar mark close to that range. But then your macro at that point changes. The current depressing thought, thought process is now changed into a macro alignment, which for XRP would look majestic. Now, what do I mean? This is that trend line. If you're on a weekly, if you're on a monthly, you are observing what I'm showing you now. That macro triangle pattern. It's a symmetrical triangle, which means if you break to the upside, that's going to be huge. To break that to the upside, XRP has to do a 55% move. What would that look like in the XRP price terms from where we are now? Make it 60, that's 0.8. Make it 55, to be accurate, that's 0.75. So when you see XRP about 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, understand the macro breakout, it's already in which means the trend line support you've been talking about for a long period of time is now pushing your price back up. 
It will not just be XRP. I won't be a maxi on that front. But there will be assets like XLM, XCC, XDC. There will be a lot of payment assets, which would go higher. Say H bar, you pick it up. Yes, the supply and all is still something you'll have to look at. The volume is still something you have to look at. The first drop here, which we talked about previously, already came in. We are happy. We are happy that it happened. Now the question is, what does the price to RSI show you? It's almost same, right? You don't have a divergence. Mm. So either you get a reversal candle or you still wait for a chop off like this. Market usually does that. So you won't go euphoric in an asset which is still testing the support. If you're a long-term buyer, yes, that's all that you want to do. You want to buy at a support. But when you're in the market, understand this. The market consists of hundreds of assets. That's one of the reasons why SF Family is breaking all of these assets down so that you don't miss it. Now, look at these top performers, especially with a lot of volume. We've been posting on them at the right time at the right time for the right assets. And those who are already in the SI family already knew these. They already saw all of these charts. So they understand what's happening and they understand why the volume is increasing, why a lot more people are jumping in on these assets. Some of them kind of, you know, went through massive crash. But right now they are on the path of reversal where you have huge opportunity. So the general idea about the market remains the same. Just the question is, people who are selling fear don't want you to understand that. This is one of the reasons why I say not a lot of people are going to understand this. That's why I was saying, see, know these before the big pump starts. This was like two days back. Now, look at the price action and the candle. It's starting to engulf the last three days, the last six days. You don't want to miss those, right? You want to take advantage of that. And this is why SI Family is trying to give you this idea. Saying, watch, everything we talked about is slowly playing out. Yes, I'm not accurate in terms of time. I'm usually a little bit earlier. I'm trying, I'm working on that. But... When the market gives you this as an idea, clearly highlighting the fact that you are about to watch history repeating in front of you. Maybe I'm wrong on the numbers here and we break about 100,000. Maybe it's not 85, 95, maybe it's 105. Now, one of the chart does show 103. We posted that in the SF family before, but if this happens to be a reaccumulation, when you get a breakout here, if you do see volume increasing just like this, that's a signal. But I surely don't think that we are trying to do the one, two, three like this. That's going to be massive because we already have the one, two, three and the one, two, three. I would be looking for the wave three here. So the wave one, wave two and wave three. Wave three is usually what? depressing yes you put in a high which is not small for sure you measure this candle close to the top was what 15 percentage let's put that if we do that that's eighty three thousand. so the eighty five thousand range still remains as a strong resistance in my opinion but yes you look at the current retracement levels and you would argue each time we have gone through something like this what was the reaction from the market you came close to 3.618 but the candle closed just near 2.618 prior to that this rally pushed it up just below 2.618 so i'm like whoa 2.618 is here at 103 so just below that means $100,000. What would that mean for XRP as an asset? Meaning when Bitcoin runs up 50%, how high do you think XRP is going to run? 
we measured that already. Last time when XRP had its run while Bitcoin did 50% push up, XRP went up 10 times more, 5x. That's not a small deal, but it's not the hyper parabolic move. But that was happening while every exchange is delisted. You, you didn't have a lot of money coming in or they stopped the money coming in. This time around, it's different. You have a lot more exchanges participating. While you're in the market, you also have to look through a lot of different things. A lot of different things. That is why when a lot of people were shorting the market, a lot of people were moving big amounts back into the exchanges. Back into the exchanges. I was arguing one point, which right now stands true, that what if it's the whales trying to show you that, yeah, a ton of these assets are moving into exchanges to sell and to push the price down. What if those are fake signals? So it's just 24 hours back, we were arguing a shit ton of ether was moving into the exchanges. What if that was whales giving fake signals? Hmm. Look at the market. What do you think? Who do you think was trying to give you the right ideas, the right opinions? And you, you want to break down of that in hundreds of different assets in this market, in payments, in smart contracts, in gaming, in the entire ERC20 segments. Be a part of the scientific investor family where you are going to reap a ton of benefit. The month of July has been enormously positive. If that's true, the big run up of that three to four month rally, it's starting this month, July. Mm, that's beautiful. Which means the wait we went through is kind of nearing the end. The FOMO is about to return and you want to make sure you don't miss that one. So guys, if you received value, smash that like button for me. I appreciate that a lot. And if you have friends, family, members, friends, anyone who's close to you who you think should be able to reap the benefit of this bull market, who you really care for, introduce the scientific investor family, where it's not about hype, it's about being educated, well educated, about the right odds in the market. Those who are in here already know what we went through. When others were giving you, oh, it's about to drop 40,000, 30,000, we were giving you the right part process to see what the odds in the market was seeing. That's why I say, follow something which is valid on a macro chart and that remains true. Because right now you're watching this as a trend line, which was a support here and then turned into a resistance. Now that's acting as a strong support. Now, what does that mean? If you are a bull on this asset and you're arguing that's a breakout retest and a bounce, I would show you a chart which we posted way before when we were here at 74, arguing the same thing will come back down, 56, but not accurate, came close, and then bounce off, not accurate, we remain choppy before bouncing off. But your measured move is what? 58 percentage. <laughs> That means you are again talking about $100,000. Bitcoin going to that range means a hell lot more rally in the altcoins because you already have a negative divergence in front of you. More and more money is about to rally into the altcoins. And that's where the thought process I gave you for the Bitcoin dominance still lies true. Yes, you want to break to the downside, but it can remain choppy here. For a month, let Bitcoin go up. Let the market come to us. And then this drops, boom, assets pump. Take benefit of that. Use this market movement for your advantage. So guys, I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.